me just say it. Oh, I got makeup all over your tongue. That's all right. Not the first time. Here we go. I'd just like to say, though, um, it's an absolute privilege being here as a guest of yours, of course. And um, I should have been here a long, long, a long time ago, really. But now that I'm here, I promise I'll come back. I just heard a whisper. Oh, God. Now you're always welcome here. Oh, God, yes, he's always welcome here. No, and we, we have so many stories of having originated the roles of Kim and Chris, and I'm, I'm sure you have a trunk full of really good ones. Yeah, I've got many of you, really. Uh, one of them, <laughs> no, I actually, because you, you obviously know that player has a photogenic, a photocopy memory. She just looks at something and it's in there. And I don't know whether you remember this, but the first time um, Claude Michel Schoenberg uh, was teaching you Sun and Moon. And I remember him, and you'd never heard it before, so he... Well, we played it here in my audition, but yeah. But he went it. through it once with you. Well, he played it once. And then he played it a second time. And then he played it a third time. And then he said, Leia, now on your own, sing it all the way through. And Leia said, okay, which version do you want? <laughs> because he played it differently every time. Each and every time. And I thought, uh-oh, trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Triple threat. <laughs> He's not joking either. <laughs> um, but here's, this, this is my story, and I'm, I mean, I, I'm sure that I've shared it a, a lot of times, and I'll share with all of you, because when I was, I mean, we first met, I was only 17, so we've actually known each other about 30 years. I was 18. Uh, you were 18. Okay. <laughs> Asian discount, I think so much. Um, so, at this point, allow me to say this, I had not ever had a boyfriend who didn't know how to kiss anybody properly. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> so, when she I... In. She's right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've done far worse in front of her. I think she's totally fine. Um, but, but no, here's the more serious part of that story. I, I was... They were... Uh, Nicole, Nick Heitner, who was our director, um, in Miss Saigon, was starting to stage Sun and Moon, and that's Kim and Chris, after Kim and Chris's first night together, and I didn't know what to do, and I was filled with so much anxiety and terror, and by extension, so was my mother. <laughs> but that's not the funny part. It's not even funny. Um, we, we, really, we, we really were. It's like, what have we said yes to? So, after that rehearsal, we were in that cafeteria type place at Sadler's Wells. First, he took my mother aside, talked to her by herself, just the two of them. And then he came and spoke with me, but my mom was there also, so that the two of us could hear what he had to say. And this is what he said, and I'll never, ever forget it. You can trust me. I will take care of you. I will not do anything to take advantage of you. And in, in this era of Me Too, can you imagine how important it was for your first romantic meeting man to tell you that? I mean, he's wickedly funny and he's a jokester, but that was something I needed to hear. And then from then on, it got easier. I've learned a lot ever since. So, anyway. <laughs> so, since you, you did come all this way, I mean, would, you would all love to hear more from him, I'm sure. I mean, you sure? It's good, it's good. I mean, you came all this way, you, you, you might as well put your work. Okay. Mom is signing your paycheck, so. Yeah. So anyway, once again, Mr. Simon Bowman. <laughs>